The warmer weather is upon us and guess what? That means it's time for all that spring cleaning. I've got some spring cleaning and some really cool life hacks to show you today. I'm Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. Welcome back to my channel. All right, you guys, I'm gonna share with you some of my absolute most favorite spring hacks and life hacks for just cleaning and just having a, a better life in general because we all are super, super busy. I know my life right now is insane working the multiple jobs. And yes, it's true, I do have a housekeeper. My housekeeper only comes once a month though. So in between those visits, it's important for me to clean and to do different things. And uh, I am going to show you some really, really fun hacks. And we're gonna jump right into it. This first one is using rubbing alcohol. Now, if you want to make your very own like homemade gel packs for like if you, you know, have a strained muscle or you hurt your back or something, you need to grab rubbing alcohol from Dollar Tree. Now this was a dollar twenty-five. The only other thing you're going to need is water and a Ziploc bag. And whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna do two parts water, one part rubbing alcohol. So if you use, you know, half a cup of rubbing alcohol, then you're gonna use a full cup of water and you can you can kind of change the size depending on what size of a gel pack that you need. And the great thing about this is this will not freeze. When you put this in the freezer, it is not going to freeze and you have the best homemade gel pack. Now, I absolutely love that one and I'm telling you, I use it over and over and over again. Now, the other item that I really do love from Dollar Tree are these little pop-up crates. Now, what's so great about these crates is that they are very, very easy to use in a lot of different places. For example, you could use these under your kitchen sink. You can put like your um, your dishcloths or your towels in here. You can put sponges in here. What I like to use them for is for, for putting things that are up high. For example, on top of my refrigerator, I'm keeping my medications now. And I've also got vitamins and different things and I can easily reach up. I can grab these off of the, or out of the cabinet, I should say, and you know, search through, do what I need to do and then put them right back in their place. These these are really, really great and they do come in two different colors. So definitely snag these if you can find them at Dollar Tree. Now, another hack that I really do love are these laundry bags from Dollar Tree. Now, if you are like me and you wear sneakers without socks, and I tend to do that a lot, and I know that there's footy socks that I've bought footy socks before, but sometimes I'm just in a hurry, I'm on a go, and I grabbed these laundry bags because these are fantastic for cleaning your sneakers with. You can put them in the dryer and they're not gonna go clunk, 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 clunk around because all you have to do is put your sneakers in here, tie this in a knot, hang the knot on the outside of your dryer, turn your dryer on like normal and your shoes are gonna stay within the dryer. They're gonna be hanging against the door in your dryer and they're going to come nice and clean and fresh and then you can wear them again and make them dirty like I do all the time. Now, whenever we're talking about spring cleaning, I definitely always talk about my car. My car is always filthy. I seem to live in my car. If I'm not going from real estate appointment to real estate appointment, I'm definitely going to Dollar Tree and other places. And uh, I'm eating on the go a lot of times. And my car just is nasty sometimes and just dirty and dusty, especially with all this pollen. So I love these mitts. Now this mitt is super great because it does fit on your hand. And what's so great about this is that you can go and you can clean off any kind of uh, dust or anything that might be on your dashboard, for example, or on your instrument panel. And you can also fold this up and put this in your center console or even put it in the back in the trunk. You can put it in one of those crates that I showed you earlier and store it. There's a lot of really great uses for this. And you can even spray this with a little bit of cleaner if you wanted to. There are lots of great ways that you can use these. And they're also really good for inside the house as well if you need to dust off a bookshelf or anything like that. Super, super handy. Definitely, definitely think you should get one of these. Now, one of my favorite things that I also grabbed from Dollar Tree, and this is something that I really found 
super, super handy is this little broom and dust pan. Now this is a handheld broom. And what I like about this is that it is super convenient. You can kind of carry this anywhere. For mine, I actually hang this on the door that is uh, that goes up to the attic, right? Because the in front, of, I don't go up into the attic a whole lot in my house. And this is where I keep this because I use this for Otis's litter box. And in between, um, you know, cleaning out the litter box and everything. This is a great way to just kind of sweep up some of his little, you know, little rocks and things that he tends to kick out. And you can put this anywhere and you can even hide this. So what I do is I just tie a piece of twine around this and then I've got it hanging on the door and I make sure that the twine is actually separate. So I've got a piece of twine on each one of these and then I can use them kind of, you know, as I need to and then just hang them both right back up on the doorway. And that's a great, a great easy way to just pick up little quick spills. If you have a cat like I do and you know I love my Mr. Otis, this is a fantastic buy for $1.25. Now I've been making a lot of Dollar Tree dinners lately and if you guys haven't seen my video for Dollar Tree dinners, definitely check it out. I'm gonna link it in the description box below for you. But this is something that I saw and I believe this is probably like a um, Bed Bath & Beyond closeout item maybe because I've never seen this brand at Dollar Tree but this is uh, Vacuvin and this is a spoon rest for your utensils. And I have a metal spoon rest that um, kind of sits in the middle of my, my burners and everything. And I do sometimes use that, but I'm always having to, to kind of clean that. And it's starting to get a little, a little dingy, you know, I've had it forever. This is going to be really, really great because it's also made of silicone. And I can use this whenever I am cooking or making any kind of meals. I also found that this is actually really good to use if you're kind of drying some things in between, like you could rinse something off right away. You could put it on the drying rack here and just leave it out and then put it away when it's time to put it away. These are really, really great. And I think that you should grab one of these if you can find it at Dollar Tree. Right, this is another one of my really, really favorite hacks. And if you have not got this at Dollar Tree, then you need to find this right away. These sponge holders are amazing. And I have a small kind of farmhouse sink. And I love the fact that this sticks on the inside of the sink and it holds any kind of sponges. And right now Dollar Tree has this great two pack of cleaning sponges. And what I really like about this too is because there are two different ones. There's a blue one. So of course I'm going to like that. And they both fit really, really easily into this rack. So if you wanted to use maybe the green one just for, I don't know, just for countertops. I do have wood countertops. Mine are like butcher block countertops and I have to put mineral oil on my countertop. So maybe I could use one for mineral oil and then use one for cleaning. There's a lot of different options. And when you buy these two together, they make a very powerful combo for just $2.50 plus tax, of course. Now, did you know that you can use fabric softener to clean your blinds with? Yes, it is true. You can take a sheet of fabric softener, you can wipe down your blinds. Not only is it going to give you a nice fresh scent, but it's also going to pick up any of the dust that is on your blinds. This was actually a hack that my housekeeper taught me and I was blown away at how good it works and how good everything smells in the house. So if you can find your sheet, your fabric softener sheets, use that to wipe down your blinds. I'm telling you, it is life changing and it smells really, really good. Dollar Tree also has these really cool stackable drawers. And I have to say, I've used these for a lot of different things. Now, what I like the most about them is for my dishwasher pods that I keep in the kitchen for my dishwasher obviously. And uh, these are really, really cool because what you can also do with these are glue these together. So if you wanted to maybe get like four or five or three or four, you can stack them on top of each other and you can hot glue them in between. And that helps kind of keep everything together whenever you are working with these. So you can also use these in your laundry room. They are fantastic for your bathroom, for things like Q-tips. And I've even seen people use these for jewelry, for necklaces, for hair bows, for hair ties. So super, super convenient. If you can grab any of these stackable drawers from Dollar Tree, I highly, highly recommend them. Now this next hack was actually taught to me by my dad and I absolutely love it. You take 
Brillo pads. Do you know that if you take a Brillo pad and you wipe down just very lightly the blades of your car for your windshield, your windshield blades, windshield, windshield wipers, that you can clean off any of the smuts or any of the stuff that ends up on your wiper blades. Now, mine, because I have, I have an SUV, and I also have a lot of pollen in my neighborhood right now. And a lot of that, when you use windshield washer fluid on your blinds or on, on your blinds, when you, <laughs> when you use windshield washer fluid, and then you've got that mixed with the pollen, it tends to get a little gooky on your wiper blades. I'm telling you, if you take a just a Brillo pad or sometime this copper coated scrubber, go very lightly up and down your windshield wiper blades, you're going to be amazed at how good this restores your blades. They're almost practically like brand new. This is a really, really fun hack and you should run out and grab these right now. Now, whenever I'm in the craft room here, I always have a mess. It's no joke. There's always a mess that is on my work surface. And my work surface is over there. And right now it's covered with just like sawdust and stuff from some DIYs that I've been making. And uh, I love to have this little duster on hand. Now, it was time for me to grab another one. So I picked one up while I was at the store. What's great about this is it's got this handle. And this handle just kind of snaps up like this. By the way, do not try and close this handle after you have snapped it up there because mine broke the last one I used. But I have a pegboard system on my work surface. And this is great because it actually hangs right up on my pegboard surface. So anytime I'm working on anything, I can take this down, I can kind of clean my work surface and then I can hang it right back up. It's really, really easy for me to grab. And you could technically wash this out and let it dry. I tend to sometimes just like rinse mine out with water and just kind of shake it. And we'll put it out in the sun sometimes to dry. But for $1.25, you could certainly rebuy these if you needed to. Now, if you're familiar with the essentials cleaning systems that they have at Dollar Tree, where you buy basically the kind of broom handle and then you've got all the different attachments on it, this is another attachment that I really do like. Now, what's cool about this is obviously you can screw on the handle if you want to. I like to use this for handheld, for dusting, for everything. But what's really cool about this is because it does have a wire in it, you can also use this to clean your ceiling fan. So if you put this on top of one of the poles and then clean your top of the ceiling fan, this is absolutely perfect. And you can adjust this depending on how big your ceiling fan is. This also works really, really good for higher shelves or anything that you might have trouble reaching. This is another really good one that I really like also. Now, you guys, I always talk about the bar mops that I really like from Dollar Tree, but also this is something that I just recently discovered, these flower sacks. These are from Dollar Tree. Look who joined us. Look who joined us back. What is break? Hi, baby. Hello. Back to the flower sacks. So these little flower sacks are really, really cool because they are 100% cotton. And you do get a, um, this is a two-pack, I believe. It's a two-pack. Wait. It's a one-pack. They changed it. They changed it. Notice they changed it. How did they do that? So you're just getting a one pack. They used to be two packs. Dollar Tree changed it, but they're pretty big, right? And because they are so big, I guess you could cut these in half and use them, you know, that way. But what's also really good about these is because they are 100% cotton, you can iron on anything. So if you wanted to customize these, if you wanted to put, you know, some initials on it, if you wanted to make some seasonal kind of uh, towels that you can use, these are really, really good and they are lit free as well, which I can definitely appreciate. Now, anytime I'm using the vacuum cleaner and I have an opportunity to kind of get some really good smelly stuff in the air, I will do it. And I also want to be cautious of Otis because I want him to, you know, I don't want to hurt him. And uh, the other thing that I grab is cotton balls. And you're like, why is that cotton balls with your vacuum cleaner? Well, if you take some essential oil and make sure you're using like an all natural kind of essential oil, there are some that have a lot of chemicals and different things in them. I'm just using like a natural oil or even like you could squeeze lemon juice or something like that onto a cotton ball. Take the cotton ball, put it inside the vacuum cleaner bag. Um, don't put it where it's going to suck up into the vacuum cleaner bag. Oh, I guess if you put it on the floor, you could suck it up that way. 
but you want to, Otis is like, don't do that. Don't do it that way. Just drop the scented cotton ball inside the vacuum cleaner bag. And then every time you vacuum, you're going to get the scent of either the essential oil or the lemon or anything like that inside of the house. And that's kind of a nice way to kind of get a nice little fresh clean. I don't like to put like the pet fresh powders or anything like that, or the carpet cleaning powders, because they tend to cook up the rug. So this is a great alternative, right Otis? Yes, right. Now Dollar Tree is coming out with these new pods that are perfect for refills. And so if you already have some Dollar Tree cleaners, look for these because if you're going to be replacing like your bathroom cleaner or even your glass cleaner, you can do it with these because you are going to get three refill packets in each one of these. And those little drawer systems that I showed you earlier, these are perfect for storing in these because they are little smaller packets. And the only thing you have to do with them is take them, put them inside of an empty water bottle and then fill it up with water and you've got bathroom cleaner or window cleaner that you can use kind of over and over and over again. It's better for the environment and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if you can get these glass cleaner tabs or even this bathroom cleaner tab, definitely grab these. And also they do have some kits I've seen at Dollar Tree where you get like an empty bottle and you get three of these kind of in one. So if you can find that two for one package, that's even better. So I tend to travel a lot. And when I'm traveling, I like to have a wrinkle spray with me. And this wrinkle away spray that I picked up from Dollar Tree is actually really good. I bought this before I went to Puerto Vallarta last year. And I haven't seen it in the stores in a little while. So I was excited to see this. And I grabbed this because this is really, really good. Now, does it, you know, does it make every single wrinkle disappear? No, absolutely not. However, it does help. And the definite like bonus to this is that it's portable. It's got a lid on it. So it's very easy to take it when you're traveling. But what I also like about this is that if you want to use this in place of like a starch or something like that, when you are traveling and you want to iron up maybe a shirt to be a little nicer or a dress or a skirt or something, you do have this option. This is really, really good stuff. So definitely look for the wrinkle away. Now, also when I'm traveling, I like to kind of disinfect the air because um, sometimes hotel rooms are a little stinky. And uh, I found this odor band disinfectant. Now what's really cool about this is that it also works on fabric. So not only can you spray this in the air to kind of freshen up the air, but you can also use this on fabrics. Great example, I'm out to the club. I'm, you know, hanging out at the club, doing some things I shouldn't be doing. And when I get back from the club, my uh, clothes sometimes smell like smoke. Now, I don't smoke, but there's some, there's some bars that go that I go to that might have cigarette smoke. And I don't want that in my clothes. So this is a great way to freshen up, especially if you're on vacation, because you don't want your, your jeans that you wore to the club the night before to be all kind of yucky, you know, and smelly in your hotel room. So you can hang them up, you can spray this on it, and it does help kind of disinfect and take away some of that yucky odor from, you know, being out in the club all night. And then one last thing that I do like to carry with me when I'm traveling, but I also like these in my briefcase for just every day. I keep some of these in my car as well. These stain remover wipes, these are really, really good because they are kind of single use. And again, what's super cool about these is that you do get quite a, quite a few of these and you can put these into your, I mean, you could technically put one in your wallet, I guess, if you really wanted to. They're easy to put inside your purse. They're definitely easy to take in your carry-on. They're very easy to put like in a briefcase or a messenger bag or something. And they do work really good. Now, do they absolutely, you know, remove all these stains right away? For the most part, yes, I actually do like these. And I've not had any of these or not had any issues, I, I should say, with them like staining my clothes or you know, anything like that. And also it's a good pre-treater if anything else, because if you did end up in a spot where you spilled something on you, maybe you're traveling, you can't get home right away. It's a good way to kind of wipe it down and just kind of keep it, you know, from uh, permanently staining whatever shirt you might be wearing because you were in the club. On your butt to everybody. Uh, this is another item that I like to grab whenever I'm at Dollar Tree because these do help keep me organized. Now, 
can certainly use these in your refrigerator if you need to. And you can put, you know, any kind of grab and go kind of things. These are also really, really good to use in your pantry. So like for mine, I use mine in my pantry for like rices and, uh, you know, any kind of side dishes that come in those packages. It's really easy and super convenient to just pull it out, be able to see what I've got, and then put it right back into the space. So if you can grab any of this um, essentials, kind of clear storage bins, these rival right now the Walmart storage bins that are very similar. I think their line is called um, Home Edit. You should definitely, definitely check these out because these are a really good buy. Now this next hack I'm gonna share with you, and this is not mine. This is actually from Sarah Jane from over at Chic on the Cheap. She took one of these pool noodles and she filled up, let's get Otis, get it, get it. She's like, what the heck is that? You can take one of these pool noodles and you can put it under the faucet of your sink and then you can use it to put water into a bucket and it's an easy way to not have to pick up a heavy bucket or if you've got a larger bucket than maybe what your bathroom sink handles. Maybe you've got a half bath and you don't have a tub or a shower that's maybe on the first floor of your house. You can use this to redirect water and fill up your bucket. Pretty cool, right? This is another cleaning hack that I really, really like, and you can take aluminum foil, you can ball this up, and you can use this to scrub your pants. Now, I use this not only for like cookie sheets and things like that, but it's also really good for like grilling racks or anything like that, because the aluminum foil is going to be abrasive enough, but I've found that it has not really scratched up a lot of my pants. This is definitely something that you want to grab, and also these aluminum foil sheets are really, really good for making aluminum foil meals. You can put like a piece of fish, for example, in there. You can put your seasonings on it. You could put some veggies on it and then bake it off in the oven. It's kind of a one pack meal. Super, super easy. Very, very convenient. And I like that these individual sheets don't really let you waste a whole lot of the um, aluminum foil. So definitely check these out. Another car hack that I really, really like are these brand new car storage pockets. Now, what I like about these is that they not only allow you to hang these directly behind your headrest, but they've also got a great zipper pocket here at the top. And you can see when I open up this pocket, like there's a very generous amount of space in here. And there's some kind of mesh pockets in the front that allow you to put different things in there. Again, super convenient, really, really easy. And this is a great kind of hack to be able to keep some things that you may want to quickly grab. For example, those little stain packets that I was talking about. Maybe you need like some breath mints and different things. And then inside the larger pocket, you could put maps. I don't know who uses the map still, but you could use a map. You could use maybe some real estate brochures. I could keep some business cards in here. Like there's a lot of really cool things that you can do with this. And it's super convenient again, because not only does it have these hooks at the top, but these are also snap hooks. So it's really, they're really strong. It's a, <laughs> it's a good kind of, they're really strong, to be able to put these on your headrest really, really easily. So definitely check these out. And again, that's a strong snap. Now, whenever I'm trying to be organized at home, in particular, like with my socks, for example, I, as we know, I have a lot of socks. I bought socks during this haul that I'm not going to show you guys because I have a problem with socks. And these felt drawer organizers are really good for that, but they're also good for ladies for some of your other items that you might wear. But then also these are really good that I found in the bathroom. If you happen to have a drawer that is big enough to hold one of these, you can put washcloths and like cleaning towels and different things in there. It's a good way to keep everything separated and it's a good way to stay organized. I'm a plant dad, but I'm not the greatest right now with watering them sometimes. And I have some plants inside my house that are uh, struggling a little. And uh, I'm, I've got a system now for watering those. I'm using my uh, Alexa thing to remind me whenever I um, need to water my plants. I know it's bad, but uh, it's working. So that's the good thing. But these little plastic watering stakes that you can get in the garden section at Dollar Tree right now, 
These are really, really cool. Now, what I like about these is that they are this clear kind of bluish plastic. You simply just fill this up with water and then you stick this right down inside of your plant. And this allows the kind of water to drip down kind of naturally into your plant. This does hold a decent amount of water. And I found like, for example, if I'm gonna be out of town for just a weekend and I want to use these inside the house because I'm not going to be home. I have a couple things that I will water like every other couple of days. This is a great way to kind of do that. And if you happen to have some plants that are maybe hanging up a little higher, this is something that you can use that is really, really good as well because you can fill this up with water. You can put it into the plant that might be hanging up like a little higher. Like I have some plants that are hanging from the porch ceiling. This is a great way to kind of water those and then not have to get up on a ladder and take them down every time that I need to water them. Lastly, this is another thing that I found that I really think is kind of cool and it kind of reinforces kind of that smelly scent stuff. Now you remember the essential oil that I showed you earlier. This is a USB floating humidifier. Now, this is not really great for, you know, being a humidifier for like the room. Um, it's kind of small. It It's... It's a little weird. I'll tell you at first, I was just a little like, oh, I don't know about that. Because it uh, plugs in, so there's electricity, and then this floats. So don't, like, don't put this in your bathtub. Uh, don't do anything like that with it. But if you did have, like, a small, for example, like a very small tea light candle holder that holds glass. You can float this in there. You can put a little bit of that essential oil in here with a little bit of water. And as this kind of warms up, it's going to make the bathroom, for example, smell really, really good. Now, again, I would not put this like in my bathtub because that would be weird. But uh, what's cool about this is because it's got the sensor on the bottom, whenever it is sensing that it's in water, it's going to produce, it's going to produce humidity and um, it's gonna kind of put that into the air. So that's why I like adding the, a little bit of essential oil into here because it does kind of smell up your room. Right, Otis? Right, Otis? Right? He's not talking. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have some other home hacks, let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorite. Also, what's really cool about this video is that it's going to be a series and I'm going to continue to do this. You know, with each season, there's always maintenance stuff. There's always things that we need to do in our homes. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing those with you very, very soon. All right, guys, we are pushing forward to 100,000 subscribers and I am loving it. Thank you guys so much. Remember, if you are not subscribed, then please do subscribe and uh, be sure and hit that bell notification. That way, you know, every time I do post a new video. All right, guys, until next time. Bye-bye.